Low income housing can make you a ton of money, but what if you don't live in an area that has really cheap low income housing? What do you do? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You watch this video. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am your host, James Wise, and you are watching Holton Wise TV. Slap that subscribe button. If this is your first time here, man, hopefully you stick around. Dude, you like what you see. This is where I help people just like you build, start, grow their real estate portfolios, right? A lot of you, just like my client today. Her name is Liz. She's from California. How you doing, Liz? Liz lives in a really expensive area. She can't find cheap low-income housing. Maybe that's uh, what somebody else out there who's thinking, right? If you can't find cheap low-income housing, you do it, Liz. Did you come here? Send my team an email, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your number. We'll talk to you about how you could be featured in a video just like Liz. Now, Liz, you came to us because you want to get your very first rental property. I just went over another one. Nice property, C-grade property. Everything is cool, but it does require us to slowly work the rent up to market rate. This property, we already have the tenant paying market rate rent. 7,500 Dearborn, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, listed at 84K by the listing agent. Okay, we got six photos of this one. Again, when you have tenant occupied stuff, they don't really like you going in to their property. So what they did here is they gave us photos uh, of the property prior to the tenant moving in. Now, this property has got a Section 8 tenant in there, okay? That Section 8 tenant list, they're paying market rent. We're getting 1070 out of them, okay? So 1070 comes in. That's 12840 for the year. After normal anticipated expenses, Liz, I think you'll be walking away with a profit of approximately 6670 a year. But you don't get to keep all that because, of course, you got to get a loan on it, right? You come here, uh, you have twenty two grand. In cash, which is more than enough to get started in the in the Cleveland market, because we're going to go ahead and get you a lender to give you fifty six thousand two hundred fifty. You only got to put down eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty, and that would result in a twenty point four percent cash on cash return if you picked it up for my target price for you, Liz, which is not eighty four grand. I think eighty four grand is too high. I think seventy five grand is the right price point, right? Just a very simple property. What you have to understand, though. Uh, is it's got a little bit of a wear on the mechanicals and stuff, right? So when we do the home inspection, you're going to see that the roof, the furnace, the hot water tank, none of which are newer. That's why, I, of course, have the capital expenditure budget because you know you're eventually going to have to replace those items, right? Not tomorrow, but in the coming years. You know, roofs, they're 5, 6K. Hot water tanks are a K. Uh, furnaces are 3K. Furnaces and roofs last about 30 years. Hot water tanks about 15, right? We'll get more details on just how old those items are after the home inspection comes about. But when you're out here investing in these cheaper lower end properties, guys, don't anticipate all of those things to be brand new. Lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com to be part of our referral network. Now, Liz, on an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, I like this property quite a bit. I also like the previous property. Uh, just so you're aware, I believe the neighborhood quality on the previous property slightly higher than on this particular property. So I think this particular property over the long haul is going to garner a little bit more risk for you. So I want you to keep that in mind. And if, uh, you know... You're looking for more information and uh, more properties to compare and contrast to. I got one more for I'm going to do. One more property that I'm going to do for you, which we're going to get into right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.